Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to take off this LLT intake manifold. This thing is heavy. And there's the, the inside part of it. Most of it is 13 millimeter and all these bolts here. And this one is a this one is a LFX engine. So much lighter. I mean it's several pounds lighter than this here. I don't know if that's caster. I don't know that pop metal stuff they make it out of. This is so much lighter. So on the back of it, you got these two these two bolts right here. 13 millimeter and you got this one here that goes down these three bolts here is the one is the hard ones to get to you got your cowling here in a way so once you get these two off and that one off take all these off and you got her got her made so let's get to the car and let's get this thing off if you have a Camaro LLT engine, Cadillac LLT engine, okay, this engine can go into Chevrolet Traverse, Buick Enclave, and GMC Arcadia, and the Camaro. This engine went into a lot of different cars. So I've already pulled out the, the push pins on these. Just get you the best way to get them out of there is use a body tool. Just stick it up under there and pop them out. Or if you got a couple screwdrivers, that'll work. Pull this off. A lot of people pull this off and just throw it away. It's all falling apart. But I did have this all blowed off until I put that piece back on it. So now we're going to start taking off the intake manifold. Start taking this off. This pops out. This pulls straight out. Move that over to the side. And this here has got a little clip on it. You pull it over, pull it back. See, I think you can see it now. Got this little thing here. You got to move over, pull it back, and pull it off. And that takes that off of there. Move that out of the way. Now we have the throttle body connector right here. Just push down on that, pull it off, move it out of the way. Okay, now we're going to start taking this elbow here off. I think this is already loose. Pull that off, pull off your vacuum lines. I'll pull that off there. We'll just take this whole piece off. Mass airflow sensors are back here in the back, back here, right straight down here. So it's not even included in that. So now we got all this disconnected. We do have one bolt over here that we'll have to take loose. Okay, this is a 10 millimeter bolt right here. On the side of your throttle body, take that off. They didn't put this bolt on the LFX engine, thank goodness. Okay, you got that on there. 
Okay, now we're over here on this side. We'll go ahead and get the is the purge control solenoid. There's one bolt on that. Just don't want to drop your bolts. Okay, that's your purge solenoid valve right there. Move that out of the way. Move the bolt out of here. Now I go back over here on the driver's side. Okay, I got this vacuum line here. Let's see if that'll come off. Cut it off there pretty easy. There's some kind of crimp clamp on that. But it'll still come off. It'll, it's not that hard to get off of there. Okay. So we do got some gonna have to get some wire cutters to Yeah, maybe I can just pull that out. I'll get some pliers and see if I can't pull that out. This wiring harness right here, it just has a little clip in there that's holding it in there and just to hold it in place. Let's see if we can't get the pop out of there. Clip it with your wire cutters if you get tired of messing with it. Okay, that's everything off of this side. Everything's off of this side. Everything's off the front of it. Now we'll go to the back. Okay, this is in the back. Towards the firewall back here. Okay, these here in the back are 13 millimeter. It'd be a lot easier if this uh, cowling here was out of the way. If you wanted to take the time to take it off. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep going like I am. Okay, we got the 13 millimeters out of the back. Got them right here, the wrench. Now we're ready to start taking off the, I believe these are 13 also. Well, they were so tight, I'm going to have to break them with the ratchet first. And there's one back here in the back. I'm going to have to get a swivel on that one. This in here. Gotta get a swivel drive on that one. Okay.
bolts out of here. So got one more in the back. Let's see if I can get to that one. Now, I believe this is a little bit shorter than the rest of them. So we'll keep this one separate. And it's just like the just like the LFX engine, it won't come out until you get the intake manifold off. Pop it off there and pull it off. Okay, we'll pull this gasket out of here. Should just pop right off of here. Try not to knock any more junk off of there than you can. I think they hung up on there. Like I had a piece of. Yeah, it had a piece laying on top of it there. See how it oblong that? So I may just go ahead and put a new gasket in there. I've got one that's, that's a good one. Okay, we're going to clean all this mess up. Before we go back together with it. Got this piece here. Fuel rails lay right down in there. Be easy to get into. Okay, this motor's got uh, 66,000 miles on it. This engine don't have an oil catch can. So it's gonna have lots of contaminants on your intake valve. So we're gonna look at that in the next video. Gonna get a small camera, stick down in there, see what they look like. See right back here is where your your 13 millimeter bolts was came off of this little plate here. Then all your other ones goes goes back on there that way. Goes in each one of these holes here. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and the back one. So I'll have to get all this stuff cleaned up and get a new gasket on it. Now there's nothing wrong with this engine at all. The only reason why I took it off is to make this video. So like I say, this one's only got 66,000 miles on it and it ran very well. Okay, well you have this intake manifold off, you need to get it covered. So no no bolts, no screws or nothing will fall down in your down in your heads. That'd be a nightmare. Just cover it up like this and uh when you get back to it and you'll be ready to put it back together. Thanks for watching.